no hotel for us. Are you feeling better already? You had the day for yourself. Yeah, what do you want? What are your thoughts now? This thing with Jagi. I... I don't know. Give me some time and I'll be able to sort this out on my own. Is there something else you wanted? No. Your choice. Now, where is... By the way, you'll have noticed the Giska are gone. And the lag in the Ebon Hawk has reduced. <laughs> at least a bit. Um... Does she... No, everything's fine. Um... Bindo. Lost him again. Here? Ah, there he is. Got something on your mind, do you? You mentioned something about your wife. I'm actually guessing that has something to do with Sonri and Elora. Maybe they knew her too? I don't want to talk about that. I mean, don't mean to pry, but... Yes, you do. You may mean well enough, but my private affairs are just that. Private. Let me tell you something. Once you've lived as many years as I have, you'll have yourself a long, long list of memories. If you're lucky, most of them will be good. If you're not, some will be bad. If you're really unlucky, some will be so bad you never want to be reminded of them again, ever. You'll go far away to a place that doesn't hold any memories at all. And there you'll be happy just to forget and be forgotten. Is that why I went to Kashyyyk? <laughs> Partly. Maybe. I doubt I could ever explain it to you fully, even if I wanted to. Let me ask you this. Have you ever been in love? Truly in love, I mean, and not simple infatuation. I doubt he has. Exactly. You're still at the beginning of your life. There will be women in your life. Perhaps many women. But if you're fortunate, you'll find love once. The Jedi, with their damnable sense of over-caution, would tell you love is something to avoid. Thankfully, anyone who's even partially alive knows that's not true. He has always thought that. Not necessarily about love, but about the stupid emotion restrictions of the Jedi. Love doesn't lead to the dark side. Passion can lead to rage and fear, and can be controlled. But passion is not the same thing as love. Controlling your passions while being in love, that's what they should teach you to beware. But love itself will save you, not condemn you. Uh, listen to me go on as if I had all the answers. What do I know of love anymore? I'm... Just a lonely old man who's not even a Jedi. Yeah, that's actually the story Gulfath want, wants to hear the whole time. Why he's why he says he's not a Jedi. Nope, never was. Technically, I never rose above the rank of Padawan for various reasons. Does that surprise you? No, he doesn't. He didn't lie to him. No, it's not that surprising, I think. I suppose I'm not prone to live my life like most of the Jedi Masters do, that's true. My opinions on love are no different. Love causes pain, certainly. Inevitably, love is going to lead to as much sorrow and regret as it does joy. I suppose there are perfect eternal loves out there, but I haven't seen any. And how do you deal with a bad part of love is what determines your character. What determines the dark side's hold over you. So what did happen between you and your wife? I haven't changed my mind. I'm still not going to talk about it. You go and find your own love if you want to know so badly. I'll tell you one thing. Sometimes, no matter how hard you try, you and the one you love simply aren't meant to be together. The trick is to know when that is. To 
to know when it's time to fight and when it's time to part ways. <laughs> there I go, waxing philosophical again. Somebody blast me already. Let's get going before I start talking in riddles, damn it. That's interesting. I think Goofus likes those talks. Hmm. Well, we have a lot of things. <clears throat> many, many things on our plate. I think the first thing Goofus is going to do tomorrow is going to talk to those judges and see if he can make any sense about that matter. But that'll be next session. Until then, I hope you take care of yourselves, that you're well, and that you have fun at whatever it is you're doing. Bye-bye.